hundreds of layoffs soon to come have families in Putnam County shocked, angry, and disappointed. International Automotive Components in Greencastle is expected to slash its workforce. The union president says by more than 300 jobs. WRTV reporter Nikki Dementory shares the shock and frustration among employees ahead of major layoffs this summer. My family is here. I mean, these people in here, there's over 90 of them that I've spent 28 years with. 28 years as an operator at International Automotive Components in Greencastle. With news of substantial layoffs, Angela Freeman says she's at a loss. Well, I'm 54 years old. I've still got to do 13 years somewhere. Going to have to start all over again. Try to figure out what the next move is. And only a short time to figure it out. It was 30 years last year, October the 1st. Coworker Cheryl Ellington works on the assembly line. I hate that it's going on. I feel sorry for the people that have kids. These women say they work with many couples, others with health issues, now scrambling to figure out insurance and replacing two paychecks. We're a family and uh, this company is just tearing us apart for profit. On Monday, local 2382 president Jason Waller says the 400 or so employees were told by corporate layoffs would start in August, then happen again in October and then December. And that we would be left with a few small parts and some service work, which would be 65 people approximately left in the plan out of a about 400 that we have now. From 400 to 65. Waller says more than 75 employees already are permanently laid off and with production changes earlier this year, there were suspicions and rumors. They've been trickling people out and trying to run us as short as possible for a while. These jobs, Waller says he was told by the company, will be heading to IAC plants in Michigan. Warren notices he was told are expected in June. There's no regard for anybody that's that's here. Waller says the union has tried working with the company before, adding earlier this year they signed and ratified a new contract after months of negotiations. One he says the company now won't honor. We were told that we're making money, we're, we're profitable on our doors, but they can make more somewhere else. IAC Group declined interviews, but released this statement confirming the layoffs and vowing to work with the union and others. The company says the move comes after a, quote, thorough analysis of the company's manufacturing capacity and alignment with customer production plans. Working for you, Nikki Dementry, WRTV. Nikki also spoke with the mayor of Greencastle by phone today. He declined to comment until he meets with the company. However, he did want to pass along that he is committed to working with these employees and providing assistance. This afternoon, Nikki spoke with Governor Eric Holcomb. He says he wasn't aware of the layoffs, but he is committed to helping. We want to make sure that uh, Hoosiers know that across the whole state of Indiana, there's you know 108,000 unfilled jobs right now. So sometimes we have to connect the dots and get you first to that credential or that certificate or that degree or that training. And fortunately, we have that regionally around the state of Indiana. So it's, it's never good news to hear uh, what you just shared, but I will assure you that we're going to be right there on site uh, connecting people to those programs to get them back to work. It's been a tough year for workers statewide who lost their jobs. Since January, nine companies announced plans to close or lay off their workers. Closings impacted more than 400 workers and layoffs more than 300. The majority coming from healthcare, hospitality, and the manufacturing industries. The cities impacted include Indianapolis, Franklin, Lafayette, and South Bend. On the flip side, the Indiana Economic Development Corporation reports that in 2020, the state got 282 companies to move or grow in Indiana, involving 31,300 new jobs that will be created over the next few years. Companies don't get tax breaks if they don't come through with the jobs. WRTV is the hiring Hoosier station, meaning we are always looking to connect you to employment opportunities. We have found dozens of open positions around Indiana. Those jobs are posted on the job board at HiringHoosiers.com and on the Hiring Hoosiers Facebook page.